Hello, I'm Pluto Burns, and welcome back to Random Button. Today we're doing UFO Robo, Robo Grendizer, which is from Go Nagai. Yeah, Violence Jack Guy and Cutie Honey Guy. This one's about giant robots, which is basically uh, violence, tits, and robots. That's uh, Go Nagai's wheelhouse. All right, so we got a guy and a robot with horns, because it's going to charge into walls like walls like a bull. Walls like a bull. Blah 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 blah. blah. Guy got a guy wearing a helmet. There's that robot head again. Grendizer. Okay, there's only five chapters. UFO Robo Grendizer. The man who came from space. Don't you mean the robot that jumped out of a spaceship above Earth? That's what I'm seeing right now. Oh no, we've got UFO attack. Wait, what? Okay, so we've already got combining robots or transforming robots? Okay, so the UFOs turned into robots with, like, spike wheels for shoulders. We're off to a great start already, people. <laughs> and then, is that, is that Grendizer getting the crap beaten out of him by other Venus flytrap-like robots? Yeah, yeah, he's getting eaten by a bird robot. Let's, okay, um, then he morphs out of his shell thing. Okay, so the other two, the shells are part of their body, but for him, it's just sort of like a flight suit. Oh, took off an arm with that attack. Guillotine hands, there, there has still not been a line of dialogue, and we are on page eight. Oh, dual scythe guillotine choppy stick thingy. That needs a proper name of a weapon. It probably has one. All right, now he sliced up this robot, which means that this is a Y7 show so far. Because as long as you're slicing up robots, you can be as violent as you want. And then there's, like, needles in space, and, uh, gr uh Grendizer's spider sense kicks in. Oh no, he's been stabbed. And now the spiky arms are turning into wheels. I'm just reading what I'm seeing here, people. Like, I, I, what kind of commentary do you want? I, he's got a Dr. Wily mustache? Yeah, okay, that robot has a Dr. Wily mustache. Rocket Fist? Rocket Fist. Oh no, it didn't launch, it just, it's just a punch. I mean, that's still pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, it was a spinny fist, it was a corkscrew punch. Oh, okay. Grandizer, you have survived the battle. Now return home for repairs. I assume home is... Er okay, now we have a car. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Okay. So they were fleeing in space, and he beat up the people chasing him, and now he's going to crash land on Earth because of the damage. Okay, I thought he was already in protect Earth mode. A flying saucer! A line of dialogue! Crashing, 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 Cra Oh, look out for my horns! I'm coming in hot! <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Iron Giant. That saucer has a face! And I have dramatic sideburns! <laughs> ah! Duck and roll! Duck and roll! Okay, the UFO overshot you. It landed in the forest. I'll check it out, and then continue to narrate my actions for the audience. My name is Duke Freed, and I speak human. I don't know where we are. Are we on Earth, or is this Japan? Okay, so he crash-landed, and Grendizer is a piloted robot, not a living robot, so Iron Giant's out now. Sorry, people. I guess now we're more like uh, the last Starfighter, maybe? Uh, would eventually lead me into a hellish war. Well, spoiler alert, manga. The Space Observation Laboratory! That looks more like a death laser pointed at the sky. But, you know, maybe they're just being extra prepared for those UFOs that never came? No wonder you're known as the world's best in space observation! This is amazing! What are you doing here? I'm going back some pages. Okay, so, you is this a flashback? Or is this like... You jumped forward and are talking to someone about the UFO that you just bumped into last night. Answers, please. I hear that flying saucer research is also hard work. No, it's actually mostly the work of conspiracy theorists. It's not work. <laughs> it's embarrassing to be praised by such a famous researcher. <laughs> Awkward laughing. Thanks, Final Fantasy X. 
By the way, has he calmed down? The alien. Okay, so we are flashing forward. He's brought the alien to... You know, it would be really great if I didn't have to figure this out from context clues because they're already speaking in exposition. He has amazing healing capabilities. All the wounds have healed. He's regaining his health while I work while while working on the ranch I operate. Okay, so we're in America, I assume. I I don't imagine ranching and UFO tracking is a common thing in Japan. But then again, this is written by Gona guy. Koji, oh, uh, Koji, so I guess we're in Japan. Come to my house tonight. Daisuke says he wishes to disclose an important story to us. Important story? Repeating the last words of the previous speaker's sentence? I'm going to find out why the Japanese do that. I will find out and it will be my contribution to society. It seems like something that relates to the Earth's peril. Oh, peril. Now we've got peril. Now I'm getting interested. And now there's a woman in a bonnet chasing after the hot alien guy on horseback with the sun setting behind them. What genre is this? Is this alien or western? How so? Alias Daisuke Umon. You're riding, of course. Not too long ago you couldn't ride, but now you're better than I am. He's been here for less than a day. Or has he been here for more than one day? Oh no, it's the creepy grandpa from... Oh god, cutie honey's creepy grandpa. And... Uh, stop reusing your character designs and her perverted nephew. Is it alright for you to be losing to an amateur while I jump into the air with my legs doing the perfect aerial split? Oh my god. Dude, go into gymnastics balance those off chairs or something <laughs> the aliens wearing fringed pants <laughs> and he sleeps in the barn nah it was all chance my specially spiked sideburns sensed your presence i was on my way to the professor's place anywho so i figured i'd take the random alien who announced his uh, arrival by crashing a hell uh, ufo into my house a fearful enemy is coming to Earth. The Demon King who destroyed my homeworld. Okay, Emperor Vega's flying saucer fleet. So we've got demons, flying saucers, and cowboys. Uh, again, I just have to say, pick a goddamn genre! Emperor Vega's pride, his saucer fleet, assaulted my beautiful planet Freed and decimated it with G Godzilla monster. Oh shit, these people are on fire. Holy shit. Okay, Y7 rating taken away. I, Planet Freed's prince, escaped with what can be called the pinnacle of our technology. The mighty UFO Robo Grandizer. UFO Robo Grandizer. He did it again. He did it again. I can at least understand why you need clarification on what the fuck UFO Robo Grandizer is. But the last time he did it, it was just normal sentences. People insist on repeating the last words of normal sentences. I had only one destination, the planet w that the Emperor would head for after Freed. So there's no habited pl inhabited planets between here and wherever the fuck Freed is. The Emperor is now trying to annihilate Earth, and UFOs are approaching Earth. We're gonna have to call the guy from Asteroids. Planet Vega military mothership, Earth is... Th thanks for... Wow, that is, um... You stay quiet out there. <laughs> no, um, I was saying he's got really long arms. I think this guy might be related to Slenderman. Saucer beast attack the earth. Okay, so is it a saucer or is it a beast? If it's both, we need to have a discussion about how it can be a machine and a monster at the same time. Okay, so the flying saucer turned into Gamera. Oh no, the blood curdling saucer. Not not Gamera, the blood curdling saucer. And that was the end of chapter one. Okay, um this is so 70s manga. Like I can't even begin to describe to you how much of a throwback this is. Um but you know, in that sense, the storytelling's got a good pace. Like I read Cutie Honey. And Cutie Honey takes for goddamn ever to get to the action because they insist on spending like half the manga with stupid shenanigans at like high school. And this is just like UFOs fighting in space and then 10 pages later, 
maybe some talking. So, um, if you're in for a throwback and you, uh, like giant robots, yeah, no, check out this. It's, uh, not bad.